<laughs> You're gonna talk? You wanna make a song? Today we're coming at you with some black beans. <laughs> No. Nope. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today is the second installment of our leftover series. Last month we brought you a leftover rice video. We showed you how to use up your leftover rice and make fried rice and rice pudding. If you want to check that out, up here, linked right here. And down below. And this week, we're this month rather, we are <laughs> using some black beans up. I know we always have beans in the fridge and Sometimes you just want to make a recipe with them. We don't always want to make, like, put them in Buddha bowls. That's what we end up doing all the time, which is still good. We just, like, make a bowl out of everything. But we want to get fancy today. I'll show you guys how to spice things up. So we got three recipes for you. First, we have a black bean dip. Second, a black bean soup. Third, we got some black bean brownies for you. So you got recipes to cover breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert, I guess, because you can eat one twice. Sure. No, that doesn't make Sounds sense. Sounds fine. The dip isn't a meal. I'd say you have <laughs> appetizer. Dinner, yeah, appetizer, dinner, dinner and, and dessert. dessert. You can have a black bean date night, guys. Let's get crazy. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna get this party started with a simple bean dip today. So, in a food processor, we'll add in black beans, vegan cream cheese, which is my favorite ingredient, a little bit of lime juice mild green chilies, green onions, some garlic cloves, and then salt, I put way too much there, some cilantro, some cumin, and chili powder, and that's it. And that's it, we'll pop the lid on, we'll let it process until everything is fully uniform, and in just a few seconds you'll have a delicious bean dip. We'll top this dip off with a dollop of vegan sour cream, some fire roasted corn, some green onions, and then some fresh cilantro. Also a little sprinkle of smoked paprika for the aesthetic, of course, and the taste. And then we'll just dip a chip in and that's it. And now it is time for the soup. So we have half of our black beans here. We're going to mash them with a potato masher. You can also use a fork. And then set that aside to an instant pot. We're adding in a little bit of vegetable broth and we're going to use that to saute onions, celery, bell peppers, and jalapenos, which are optional but recommended. They're not really spicy in this recipe because we don't use that much. So just saute that until it is nice and translucent, fragrant, broken down, and we're going to add in some garlic. And the remaining vegetable broth, we have some canned tomatoes here, the mashed black beans that we mashed earlier. And we also are adding in some whole black beans as well. This adds really good texture. We have corn, cumin, chili powder, a bay leaf and that's it. Just mix that together until everything is nice and uniform. Pop the instant pot lid on and we're going to cook that. All of the directions are on our blog, linked down below, so don't worry about that. So once it is done, we're going to add in some fresh cilantro and some lime juice. You can also season here with salt and pepper to taste as well. And that is basically it. This recipe takes like 30 minutes, including the time that the Instant Pot takes to come to pressure. And you got yourself some lunch and dinner for the week. So remove that bay leaf and serve up the soup. So we like to add some vegan sour cream on top along with some avocado, jalapeno, some green onions, and some bell peppers. You can add whatever you want on top, but we thought these looked really cute. And dig in. And last but not least, we have our black bean brownies. So to a food processor, add in some organic cane sugar and process that until it reaches a fine texture. And then to that, we're going to be adding in our black beans and we're going to again process that and allow it to become as smooth as we can get it. And then add the remaining ingredients. So we're adding in almond butter here. You can also use peanut butter, cashew butter, whatever nut butter of choice. Vanilla extract, salt, we have cacao powder, of course, gotta get the chocolate. Baking powder, two flax eggs, which are acting as our binder for this brownie. And then some strong brewed coffee, you can also use espresso. This really brings out the chocolate flavor. It is optional, but highly recommended. So process all of that until it is very, very smooth, as smooth as you can get it. Look at that batter, guys. And it's vegan, there's no eggs, so you can actually just eat this if you want. 
pop this into a lined baking sheet and we actually forgot to mix in the chocolate chips so you're gonna see right now I just tossed them in and it actually works if you want to do this as well so we just mix them through and then spread out the brownies so it sits flat in the pan you can also use an offset spatula but we don't have one so we topped ours with walnuts and more chocolate chunks. You can top it with honestly anything that your heart desires. But these are just our go-tos for brownies. So we popped those in the oven, pulled them out, and you have to just allow them to cool completely before slicing in two so that they don't fall apart. But that's it. You got yourself some black bean brownies and these are so good. I can't wait for you guys to try them. And that about wraps things up. We hope you guys enjoyed this leftover series, this video, these recipes, everything in between. If you have any other ideas for leftovers that we should make recipes into, leave them down below. We had you guys comment last month's video as well. We are tallying everything up, getting all the ideas that we can. We do have a special leftover video coming in November though, if you guys can guess what it is. We have it all planned out and I'm so pumped. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be Thanksgiving leftovers. <laughs> so that is it for today. We post videos every Wednesday and every Friday. Sometimes, sometimes Monday. Mondays. We're feeling crazy. But <laughs> we'll see you guys very soon. Love you guys. And yeah, that's it for today. Bye. When I came